it's getting a little late in the day. I'm gonna go in my hives and see what kind of honey I can rob out. And I probably don't need my smoker because I had sausage and asparagus and uh, cabbage for supper. I'm gonna play it safe and light up anyway. Looks good. I don't see any beetle problems. A lot of times if you open it up and it's got beetles in it, they'll be in the cracks and corners of the lid. This is all propolis I'm scraping off here. That's what they glue the box together with and seal up all the cracks. Help keep the critters out. And the wind and the rain and anything else they don't want in. See what we got in here is an empty frame, empty frame. Uh, they're drawing it out and starting to put honey in it. There's one they've drawn out one side and they're filling it up. It's really a, I don't know how the how well the cameras picking up the daylight out here, but it's getting pretty close to dark. I waited a little late to be doing this, but I gotta do it when I can do it. Oh, this dude's heavy, and it's full of honey, just not quite capped. Oh, this is almost full of honey. They just hadn't capped it yet. And this side here is mostly capped, a little bit left to go. Baby, I'm gonna want you. Baby, I'm gonna need you. You're the only one I cared enough to hurt about. Lately, I've been praying that you'll always be staying. Beside me. You gotta sing to him every once in a while. Keeps him calm. Not really. Just entertains me. Whoa, this one here. I just ripped it wide open picking it up. But it's still got a lot left to be capped. All this honey I'm running down through the box, they'll pick it all up and put it in a cell somewhere or or eat it. So I'm not worried about losing it. It's in their box and they are pretty good about cleaning up. Alright, now this is a foundationless frame I'm fixing to pull out here and it has, uh, looks like it's got a lot of capped honey in it. Regardless of what's in it, I'm leaving it out just because it was put in there with either with brood or with queen cells or something on it. And I just didn't pull it out until they got through hatching out. You don't have to wait until they're all 100% capped but this whole section here is still yet to be capped. Same way on the side that I tore up. Now not only do they have to cap all this, they gotta close off, straighten all this up and close it back up. 
<sighs> this one here's cross combed onto the next one, so I'm going to cut it loose and mess it up a little bit, but I'll get it out. I was gonna say I was gonna stick it back in there, but this is all drone brood, so I'm fishing to kill them. I'm taking this with me, I'm taking this frame with me. All this side here is drone brood that's hatched out, and they started filling it up with honey, and it's pretty well full. And they're starting to cap it, so I know it's about ready to be harvested. So I'm going to take this one. <clears throat> not ready yet. It looks like it's the end of the frames that are coming out. We got a few that are real close to ready but nothing nothing absolutely ready to come out yet. Just got stung in the neck. That other be pretty in a couple of hours. This is a foundationless frame that uh, I like these little crawl holes they put in them here and here. I think that's pretty cool. Open them up so you can see them. <laughs> Where'd he get you? Right there. <laughs> Where was your suit at? It was put away. <laughs> <laughs> it's really getting too late in the day to mess with them and they're getting a little testy, but can't help myself. I'm gonna go in this bottom box real quick and see, see what it looks like. I know I'm going to regret going in this this late in the day, but here we go anyway. Drawn out comb, no honey yet. Ah, right. Drawn out comb, starting to fill it with honey. Lots of honey on one side, a little bit on the other. Getting heavy, which is not capped yet. Getting heavier. This one's got queen cells on it. Two queen cells. That one's just a knob. Three queen cells. It's funny how they build off the side of the frame, off the side of the foundation like that sometimes.
Well, that there is a hatched out queen. Cap's been chewed off of it. So I'm speculating that this hive may have swarmed already. There's a whole lot of pollen in this. But I'm not seeing a lot of brood, but I guess on the next couple of frames over, I'll probably get into that. Another foundationless frame with another queen cell on it right there. Another queen cell that's been hatched. There's very little bit of honey across the top of it. I don't see anything else useful on it. There's no brood. A lot of pollen on it, but I can't do anything with that, so. I'm fixing to empty the bees off of that frame and take that frame out. Put a new frame in. The bees are riding my smoker. Smoker back rides, free. They're getting really irritable. I apologize if this camera's not picking up much. It's, it's getting almost dark out here. There's a whole lot of brood in this one, so this baby's going back in. I'm gonna kind of move them around a little bit, move these over towards the center some more. And it's starting to sprinkle on me too, so I gotta wrap it up here real quick. Girls, make a mess and give them something to do overnight. If I saw any brood in there, I wouldn't do that above brood, but I don't see any brood, I just see pollen and honey. that good stuff that's for staying me in the neck took a sting right right here a couple in the legs area because that's I guess that's nerve centers but that's where I swell up the worst so this one right here might be looking kind of funny in a little bit it looked like I got a goiter or something but um, I don't wear my veil unless I'm doing a cutout and, and they're agitated or or they're just hitting me more than normal it's not because I like to get stung it's just you can see how sweaty I am after being out here for 30 minutes and it's not even June yet I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt fat guy fat guy sweat I don't like being hot I'd rather get stung a few times and so that's what you that's the price you pay for not wearing your protection I want to add to my last comments there for anyone who's new to beekeeping or thinking about getting in it or just scared of honeybees they're not dangerous and uh, the only reason that I got stung is because of when I chose to mess with them 
it's not typical that I would get stung during a routine inspection like that but it's close to dark and it's overcast and sprinkling and both of those situations are times that you don't fool with the bees they don't like to be bothered when it's dark and they don't like to be bothered in bad weather so if you're thinking about getting into beekeeping don't let my carelessness run you away from it because they're they're really very docile they're easy to fool with you can see I'm messing with them pretty hard there and they're more worried about gathering up honey than worrying about me now if you do that in the entrance you got some guard bees that might come after you like that but even then they're just coming and tapping my hands and not doing anything so they're really not dangerous they're just you know my fault double whammy on me for fooling with them in bad weather and right here close to dark Cut this frame up for comb honey and out of this one frame I got seven boxes. This being the prettiest. <laughs> <laughs> 